figures. Okay, fine. Well, I'll try and do what I can. It's impossible for me to operate if I haven't got the right figures. One way or the other. You promised me that I could have those figures. Well, it seems to me. Well, I need them. I need them now. All right, here they are. I see they've added another section to the Sunday Times. <laughs> um, awfully sorry to disturb you. Uh, we're from over the road. Uh, you know the woolly liberals who read The Guardian? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, our daughter has been very naughty. Mm. And you see, my husband and I, well, we don't believe in smacking. So we were wondering, would you come and do it for us? <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, come on. I think we ought to get a divorce. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, where can I find the microwave lasagna for one? Uh, you just follow the aisle signs. And in League Division 4. Scunthorpe, nil. Crewe, nil. Port Vale, one. Halifax, two. Rochdale, nil. Chester, one. God, dear, dear. <laughs> Torquay, two. Wrexham, <laughs> one. God, who's interested in this stuff? Burnley, one. <laughs> Colchester, nil. Some boring old market town in the middle of nowhere. One. Obscure coal mining village, one. Dreary seaside resort, two. Some anonymous urban barnacle off the A1, nil. Deadly dull suburb of some northern industrial city. Three. Godforsaken fishing port. Nil. Hideous East Midlands non-entity that doesn't even get a signpost at Spaghetti Junction. Nil. Intolerably ugly West Country sprawl that wasn't helped by a town planner having a fit one Friday afternoon. One. Depressing huddle of one up, two downs, and one Asian greengrocer dwarfed by a derelict dockyard and three giant electricity furnaces belching green smoke all day that's twin with a town in Belgium that doesn't even exist. One. Aldershot. Nil. What exactly can I do for you, Mr. Pritchard? Looking for a completely new type of bank account. I see. I want a current account that pays interest. But if I go overdrawn, I don't expect to pay any bank charges. When I come into the bank, I expect all the cashiers to stand up and say, Good morning, Mr. Pritchard. I want you to stop raising your eyebrows in that condescendingly smug manner. And that tie will have to go. I want use of your house at weekends and your car anytime. I want a plumber who comes when he says he will and an erection that lasts slightly longer than two and a half minutes. I'm going to my mother, who's 73 and doesn't get out as much as she used to. Love you, Mum. And three extra pointers. And I want world peace, an end to all poverty and starvation, and a speedboat. Yes, I think they can be arranged, no problem. Thank you very much. Now, can you let go of my bollocks, please? Take care. Thank you.
Uh, not bad. Can I try the SB900? <laughs> Dodger took a city break fighting holiday. Oh, sorry, mate. Four nights of hospitalization guaranteed. They look like a good crowd. I could have happily given any one of them a smack in the face. I've never been to Bremen in North Germany before. I've been told they don't really like foreigners. Excellent. Now, another good way to annoy the crowd is abuse. Remember, don't forget to mention the war. <laughs> Ooh, time for the uh, unscheduled stop. <laughs> You looking at then, eh? The natives were friendly, which was a bit of disappointment. Come on, mate. Yeah. Luckily, our rep was fully trained in the art of provocation. Tomorrow there's a choice between a visit to the carpet factory, a trip to the cathedral, or a guaranteed punch up at the beer keller. Yeah. No guesses which one we took. water cannons in Europe. <laughs> the horse riding display. And as an extra touch, we got our own escort out of the country. <laughs> nice one. See you in Cologne. That's the next one in Amsterdam. Don't forget to come along. Well, thanks for travelling. All right, there. Huh? Well done. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. Stodger and name withheld for legal reasons travelled with larger holidays. They stayed for five days or seven years, depending on local bylaws. 